have you passed out your class 12th or you're still pursuing it whatever may be the case for you you can apply for IELTS depending on the university you are applying to are you willing to go abroad and study for your higher education to an English speaking country then this is the video for you today we talk about everything IELTS that is international English language testing system Hi, I'm Ravina Pabuja and today we talk about everything IELTS and I'll give you what IELTS is and how do you appear for it. So IELTS tests your proficiency with English language. If you're willing to go to an English country, then you need to be well versed with or have a command over English language so that you, your survival gets a little easier over there. So IELTS is usually divided into two parts. One is general training and the other is academy. General training is for the people who, re who want to go abroad and work for their jobs. Another is academic, if for people or the students who want to go abroad and study. So IELTS is divided into four parts. Let's talk about the first part. The first part is reading. In reading, you will have three different passages and the time would be 60 minutes and you will have to answer 40 questions. So for all the three passages are for academic and general training but the only difference for the general training is that the first passage will be divided into two parts and each section will have six to seven questions again this part passage two will be divided into two parts and that passage will also have six to seven questions each section will have six to seven questions and the third passage will also have the remaining 13 to 40 questions the second part is the listening part. You, an audio will be played for about 25 to 30 minutes and there you will have to answer 40 questions depending on what you are listening. The third part is the writing section. The writing section is for 60 minutes and it will be divided into two parts. First, the general training, there will be letter writing. For academic, there will be report writing. So the first report that is a task one will be of 150 words and the task two will be of 250 words and that is what you have to attempt in 60 minutes and your last section is speaking so the speaking lasts for 11 to 14 minutes the first topic would be your introduction and any topic discussion task two is a cue card you will be given a paper out of which you'll have you will you will have to read out the question that what are you actually supposed to talk about and task 3 will be about the discussion of the cue card or any general topic and while the introduction is going on the topics could be related to anything your personal topic colors or your favorite uh, place to visit or anything about your family that would be very general and task three would be a discussion about the task two. So this entire session will last for 11 to 14 minutes. I hope this video helps you in knowing what IELTS is. And as far as registering for IELTS is concerned, you have to go to IDP or British Council um, website and there you have to register and select the date for your IELTS depending on your city. If you have just passed 12 and you have scored above 80 percentage in your English language, then it's a plus point for you. A lot of universities accept 80 percent or above uh, for your English, so you do not have to appear for IELTS. But do check for it before you register for IELTS. A lot of universities do not require IELTS score, and your English 12th uh, score would suffice. So I hope this. Uh, video helps and I'll see you next time. Bye!